Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to write a Java code for a Fibonacci series. So what is this Fibonacci series? So it is a mathematical series in which the third term is generated by adding the previous two terms. So how the series look like? So the first two numbers of a series are 0 and 1. So these are the fixed numbers from which the series will start. So first number will always be 0 and the second number will be 1. So when the third number is generated, it is generated by adding the previous two terms. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. For the next term, the previous two terms are 1 and 1. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. So to generate a next term, the previous two terms are 1 and 2. So 1 plus 2 will be 3 and so on. So in this way, the series is generated and the series will be continued by adding the previous two terms. So how the next term is generated? By adding the previous two terms. So if you are generating number 3, so it will be the addition of number 1 plus number 2. So let me show you here the data in a tabular format. So here the number 1 is always 0 and number 2 is always 1. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. So in this way, the series is generated now 0, 1, 1. For the next term, the number, whatever the value of number 2 is there, it will be to the number 1. And whatever value of number 3 is there, it will be for number 2 because now we are generating here the next term so for this this is number one and this is number two so one plus one will be two so till here we have generated the series now what will happen whatever the value of number two is there it will be assigned to number one and whatever value of number three is there it will be assigned to number two because this is number one now and this is number two so in this way number three is generated which will be one plus two is equal to three now next time this will be number 1 which is 2 and this will be the number 2 which is 3. So 2 plus 3 will be 5. So every time what you need to do, you need to assign the value of number 2 to number 1 and number 2, number 3's value to number 2. So this is the basic concept or the logic that you need to implement for a series. Now let's see in the Java code how we can implement this. So here in the Eclipse editor, I have a class called Fibonacci demo and here I have one main method. Now let's write the code. So we already know the first two numbers in a series are 0 and 1. So let's assign the values. So we will say here int num1 is equal to 0 and num2 is equal to 1. And we also need another variable num3. So let's declare it. So we will say here num3. So these are my three variables here. Num1 is having the value 0 and num2 is having the value 1 and num3. Now what we will do? We will have one for loop. Let's have a for loop for int i is equal to 0. Now here one question rises till what number you want to continue the series because this series can go infinite number of times right so let's say you want the first five digits in the series or first five numbers of this series so you can give one count till that series will continue so if you provide five then till this number the series will be continued till three because this will be the number one number two number three number four number five so what we will say let's say till count 10 we want the series now let's declare another variable here which will say count is equal to 10 you can give any value for this count till that the numbers will be generated now here i will provide 10 and i want this i to be less than count let's say here count and every time we will increase the value of i here i plus plus now my for loop is ready right now what i want to do I have already the value of number 1 and number 2 which is 0 and 1. Now I want to generate a third number. So how the third number is generated? By adding the previous two terms. Now I will declare here num3 is equal to num1 plus num2. Now for the first time the value of num1 is 0 and value of num2 is 1. So 0 plus 1 will be 1. So num3 will have the value 1. So till here we have generated the series right. Now for the next time, 
we want to update the values of num1 and num2 because for the next time num2's value will be inside num1 means this value okay this will be num1 now earlier it was num2 and this will be the num2 now earlier it was num3 so here we need to write that before that we will print here num3 sys out and let's print here num3 and add some space so we have printed here num3 and now we will say num1 is equal to num2 means whatever value of num2 is there it will be now assigned to num1 and whatever value of num3 is there it will be assigned to num2 now num3 so let's try to run this code let's see what output we are getting here let's save it and run so here you can see we are getting a series which is starting from 1 so why we are getting here 1 because we are directly printing here num3 so num3 was our 0 plus 1 addition which is 1 so we are getting here 1 so after that what should be the value now till here we have generated so 1 plus 1 it should be 2 then 2 plus 1 it should be 3 then 2 plus 3 5 so in this way the value should be there 1 2 3 5 8 13 so whether we are getting it 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 34 55 so we are getting the values here right but we want to also print the first two numbers in the series so we can print here sys out so we can say here n1 let's print here n1 then some space and then n2 so we have declared the names as num1 and num2 so we will say here num1 num1 and then here num2 also what you can do you want to print all these series in a single line so don't start the print statement from the next line we will just say system dot out dot print let's save it and run now so see we are getting here a series 0 1 actually we haven't printed this space before this num3 so that's why we are getting here uh, these two numbers are printing side by side so what we can do we can add here space let's say plus space run this code again yeah so now this is our series so first number is 0 second number is 1 so third number is generated by adding this to 0 plus 1 1 now for the next time this is num1 and this is num2 so 1 plus 1 will be 2 for the next time this is num1 and this is num2 so 1 plus 2 3 so we have set till count 10 so that this is why we are getting this number of statement if we reduce the count let's say we want only till 5 then our code will implement the logic or the for loop will be executed 5 times so we are getting this number of statements here so in this way you can generate a Fibonacci series with the help of these three steps by implementing or creating the third number with addition of previous two numbers and then swapping the number one and number two with the updated values so i hope you understand the concept of fibonacci series here so that's it in this video we will cover another coding questions in next video thank you for watching